The man that you are watching as a sports journalist is Jackie Durant, the luckiest cyclist in history. So much so that the fans called him Lucky Jackie, or Jammy Jackie in some parts of the world. Do you want to know why? Well, if you want to be as lucky as Jackie in 2022, then give the video a like. Without further ado, let the show begin. Jackie Durand was a gorilla of the cycling peloton. He was a good rider whose determination and effort, escaping in numerous stages and one day competitions, compensated for the poor quality that he had as a cyclist. He was double French road champion and won three stages of the Tour de France. But he was so lucky that even this combative French man, who stood on the podium in Paris, was able to avoid being run over on the road. However, his lucky story begins in 1992, when he was a young rider on the Castorama team. April 1992, Tour of Flanders. One of the monuments of cycling to which Jackie Durand went almost by obligation. As his director, Bernard Quilfen, added him at the last minute in the Castorama 9 for the classic Belgian cycling event. As was usual for him, Jacques slipped into the day's breakaway practically from the start, together with other riders of lower quality such as Roland and Mavich, and also with the combative Swiss Thomas Wegmuller of Lotus Festina. The favourites for that competition were legends of the Northern Classics, such as the Italian Maurizio Fondriest, the defending champion Edwig van Hoydonk, and the Belgian Johan Museo. But in that edition, they decided to give a huge advantage to the escapees. And so much so, that by mid-race, Duran's group was 20 minutes ahead of the favourites. When the critical moments arrived, the top riders attacked each other, and did not cooperate. Fondriest looked strong, but was already too far back to catch the breakaway group. On the Kappelmer, the Swiss Wegmutter pedals with all his strength, and only Durand holds him off with a lot of difficulties. Only one last climb remained, the Bosberg, when Jackie attacked looking to surprise and, in his first stroke of luck, he discovered that Wegmuller had no legs left, and he went solo while the legendary Eddie Merckx told him that, yes, he was the winner of one of the monuments of cycling. Dudu arrived with his arms raised in the air while the public was dumbfounded, not really knowing who was the rider who had won his most important race. And so, the legend of Jammy Jackie was born. July 1995 Three years later, Jackie entered the Tour de France and without any excessive ambitions beyond trying to win a stage. The prologue arrived, a very short 7km time trial in San Brayuk, and the Castorama rider was among the first. He achieves the best time by taking advantage of his power and then suddenly it starts to pour, an extreme and torrential rain that affects 95% of the peloton and does not stop during the next three hours of competition. The conditions were so bad that even Miguel Indurain went out on his conventional bike and preferred not to use his time trial bike. The only favourite who decided to take the risk of beating Durant's time was the British rider Chris Boardman, who after passing two seconds behind Jackie at the intermediate checkpoint fell, as it could not be otherwise, and he was injured having to abandon the Tour de France. So, hours later, Jackie manages to win the stage, and not only that, he also gets the yellow jersey. Note that he did not even expect it. Our favourite old chunk of coal went along with his tracksuit and long pants to the awards ceremony. Great legends like Abraham Milano or Gianni Bugno could never wear the yellow jersey. But Jackie, Yes. But the legend continues. Durand tests positive in May 1996 for Nandrolone and is banned for eight months. However, he managed to find a team for the next two seasons. None other than the casino team of Rodolfo Massi and Alexander Vinokurov. The ideal team for a rider like him who like all members of that magical and panoramic team, managed to fly in 1998. Durand again won his third Tour de France victory in a new breakaway, and this time he managed to pass all the anti-doping tests. Fifteen years later, 
we learned that he had tested positive for EPO in that edition. But the French leprechaun was lucky that in those days it was undetectable. And besides, his triumph was prior to that of the Rodolfo Massi narco shows, so no one questioned his image in those days. But after finishing last in the 1999 Tour de France, a new stroke of luck came for the then lotto rider. In the Tour of Spain in September, the same thing happened to him as in the 1995 Tour. He started in the prologue first, and the vast majority of riders were rained out. This time he was overtaken by the Spaniard, Igor Gonzalo de Galdiano, but Jackie knew that he would have another chance. The next day he escaped with the Spaniard Garcia Calvo, and Durant convinced him to let him go first through the flying goals, the intermediate checkpoints which gave bonuses in the form of seconds. Jackie had been a snake charmer, but he was lucky to find the kindly rival who allowed him to do so. The result, as you can see, was Jackie the Pony again, dressed up as a leader in another Grand Tour. And here he held on to the lead for two days until the first tax arrived, of which the Frenchman could not overcome. And if all this were not enough, despite having been caught three times for doping in his career, Jackie Durand gets a job as commentator on Eurosport from which he has been living practically since his retirement in 2004. If you ever wonder why the world is so unfair, remember to go back to the video and the great Jackie Durant.